Air raid sirens continue to sound in Kyiv. Russian troops are marching towards the heart of Ukraine's capital. And moments ago, according to local media, Ukraine's president says Russia will mount its largest offensive against the capital tonight. But residents in Kyiv are defiant, including Oleksiy Honcharuk. He previously served as Ukrainian prime minister under President Vladimir Zelensky. He's staying in Kyiv to fight the incoming Russian troops. Hi, Mr. Honcharuk. Good of you to make time for our program. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what it's like in Kyiv right now? How are you doing? Uh, the situation in Kyiv is very complicated. Russian troops uh, like sh were shelling um, Kyiv uh, during the previous night. Now uh, we have a night, uh, we have evening, late evening, uh, and uh, I believe that uh, Russians will try to invade, to uh, interfere Kyiv from three sides, from the uh, eastern, uh, northern, and uh, north uh, and uh, western uh, part. So, uh, side, I believe that, uh, of course, uh, Kyiv is ready to push back, uh, and uh, it's a lot of uh, like people with uh, weapons, Ukrainians who are ready to fight for uh, our land. But um, you know, now, a couple of minutes ago, uh, the administration, uh, our military administration, uh, um, informed us about uh, one more uh, threat from the sky, and. So air threat, and uh, it, it means that uh, Russia will bomb Kyiv one more time using its missiles and aircraft. That's why it's very important. It's extremely important to close the sky um, above Ukraine uh, because economic sanctions. Uh, it's not enough. Uh, it's it's it could be useful, but it's not enough. It's too little, too late. Now it's very important to provide military as strong military assistance as possible from Western countries. And the best way and the number one uh, step is to close our sky above Ukraine. This is the most important uh, part of military, of military uh, support uh, uh, we need now in Ukraine. Thank you very much. And, and can I ask you, uh, did you give any consideration to leaving or were you, are, you, know, are you committed to stay? Look, these days in Kyiv, uh, more than one million people uh, is like in, in the city. So Kyiv is a very huge city. So uh, anyway, a lot of people will stay uh, in Kyiv. And uh, during this night, of course, I am, uh, I, I'll be with, with my city too. Sorry, with your, your pardon me? Uh, one You'll more time. with your city, your the city, sorry. Of course. And, and, and how, I guess if you could describe for us um, how you feel being there, why you want to stay there, it, despite such a threat as you describe right now from the Russians. Look, it's very easy because uh, there is no any reason to be scared. We understood it eight years ago and we understand it now. If you are scared, uh, you will lose anyway. You will lose from the, from the beginning. And this is a huge mistake a lot of Western leaders uh, made eight years ago. When uh, Russia eight years ago invaded Ukraine, Western uh, leaders uh, responded so the, 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 the response was so weak, so weak that uh, um, and, and th that's why we uh, have the uh, this like crazy uh, war now. So Putin uh, recognized only power. This is the only way to stop him, to show him a power, to show him that we are ready, to, we are united and we are ready to push back, you know. So you shouldn't show that you are scared. That's why a lot of people, that's why I am uh, in Kyiv now and we are going to uh, like remain this uh, uh, at least uh, uh, until our victory. Because if you just leave the, the city, who will protect it? Who will protect it? It's very easy to understand. We don't want to lose our independence. We don't want to lose our freedom. We don't, know, don't want to lose our life, of course. But we understand that if we are together, 
uh, if Ukrainians are together now in our cities, we are strong enough to push back, to uh, destroy all these, uh, like, occupants, intervents, uh, all these Russian, uh, Russian invaders. Okay, Mr. Hantruck, I'll leave it there. I hope you stay safe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Vashi Capellos, host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.